Greetings everyone, my name is Snowdrift. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and this video helps you out, please consider subscribing. I really do appreciate that very much. In today's video, we're going to be working on the 06 CBR 1000RR, and I've got a package here from Moto Dynamics. In the box, we have the tail light itself, wire harness, and instructions. Very comprehensive instructions, by the way. Like, you probably don't even need this video, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyway. You guys will need a number five Allen hit key to get the seat off, by the way. And yes, yeah, so I'm using a creeper on top of two saw horses as my table. The main issue with it is that, like I said, you can't see it during the day. And it's gotten kind of just, compared to new motorcycles, it's just really dim altogether. And so I, I haven't really been too happy with it. So since uh, I haven't done much to the bike as of late, I kind of finished it and left it the way it was because I liked it the way it was. Um, I decided it was time to get a tail light that would be better suited for where I live now. Where I used to live, it was kind of a rural area. Didn't really have to worry about people running into me. I mean, it was still a possibility, don't get me wrong. Um, but I didn't have to worry about it as much as down here in a bigger city. And I've seen wrecks after wrecks after wrecks. I really just want to try and be safer. So I got this tail light and it is a sequential tail light, and I probably I didn't show you guys this yet. It's clear. I went with a clear one because I want it to be as visible as possible. So under the seat, there's a bolt on each side of the tail fairing. So now all you gotta do is take your back seat off. And there's two more bolts on each side of the front of the rear seat right there that you have to remove. All these Allens are the same size, by the way. Once you have the front seat, the rear seat, and all four of those bolts off, you should be able to pull the rear section off the bike. And so now, all we really have to do is unhook the wiring harness from the tail lights. Flathead screwdriver definitely helps with this job. All you have to do is lift up on this tab right here. And there we go. So now that the wiring is unhooked, all I gotta do now is unbolt it. So the two bolts holding the tail light down are eight. So a good idea, I think, is I'm gonna go ahead and take my new tail light and put the nuts on here. I got the old tail light out, and as you can see, it's uh, it's actually started to melt a little bit too. It has definitely seen better days. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna extract these things because you're gonna need them. And you're also gonna need this plastic piece right here. So just go ahead and fish all the wires through here. Okay, so before you do any of your wiring, you're gonna to wanna to take these wires and get them through this grommet. All right, so once you've got this on the correct way, so what this does, it's got all the sequential uh, programming inside of it. It's really easy to hook up. You just yellow to yellow, blue to blue, very simple stuff. Just hook up these bullet connectors. So you're gonna to wanna to connect the yellow and black wire to the orange connector and the blue and black wire to the blue connector and then you're going to connect the big white connector to the other big white connector. And so once that's connected, you're good to go. So now would be the time to test it. So I'm going to test it real quick. Hey! That's pretty cool. So now that we have it all wired up, we're going to install it back into the tail. That's super satisfying. I had to go find a new bolt to fit in this hole because the other one was stripped out on the top really bad. But this one fit really well. So all you have to do is get this bracket bolted to the tail light and then swing it up and insert the bolt on this side. Same on this side, really simple stuff. And then you just gotta tighten the bolts down on each side. Don't go too hard, you don't have to. And then tighten the nuts down just until it's hand tight, really. And just route the wires the best you can. You may have to throw a couple zip ties on there. All right, so once you've got everything the way you want it and everything's in place, all the bolt holes are lined up, all you gotta do is put all your bolts back in.
hard to pick up on the camera because the way the camera senses light is different than the way our eyes sense light. But I'm telling you, this right here is way better. Like it's it's not even a fight. Like it's it's a slaughter is what it is. I'm, I'm super proud of it. All right, you guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'm super stoked about the new tail light. It looks miles better than the old one did. Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, if you got a lot out of it, please hit that like button for me. I sure do appreciate that. And uh, give me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll link the company that I got the tail light from down in the description. Moto Dynamic. They have a lot of really nice stuff. I love their website. It's really easy to order stuff from and they got me the tail light much faster than they said they would. So I really appreciate what they've done for me. Um, well, I, I, I purchased it, but I really appreciate them shipping it out fast, and it, it's, I love it. It's great. It's a fantastic upgrade over even a stock tail light for these bikes. So, um, if you guys aren't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Take care, and have a great night.